Well, hi everyone, it's Charlie here. I hope you're doing okay. Today, I thought I would show you um, some guitars. Now, we at school, we have looked at stringed instruments quite a little bit, and uh, we looked at the violin, which has four strings, four strings, um, and cello also has four strings as well, but it's much bigger and they're part of the string family. Well, we also have the guitar, which is part of the string family. So the first guitar I want to show you is this one. It's quite small, so it's quite good for a, a young person like yourselves to play. So it's got one, two, three, four, five, six strings. And these strings are made of plastic nylon it's called and these ones I've got nylon but with metal wound around the edge these three lower ones and when you play a guitar um, you pluck with your right hand these strings here and with your left hand you, you move up and down the neck of the guitar the neck of the guitar is here and this sort of guitar is hollow. It's made of wood. And it's got a hole here, so the sound comes out of that hole. And it's called an acoustic guitar. Acoustic guitar. So this is a small one. You can play it with your thumb or with your finger and your thumbnail. And when you put your several fingers down on the neck of the guitar, play a lot of strings at once it's called a chord and then a different chord so if you're playing chords and then you start to play a rhythm with this hand you can play songs like that so you're using your hands to play the guitar chords and keeping a rhythm going and then you can sing something over the top so the guitar is a really good instrument for accompanying your own voice a bit like the piano if I want to sing a song I can play the piano it's not so easy to sing a song if I'm playing a recorder I can't really sing at the same time so that's why I really like the guitar because I can sing songs like happy birthday or something happy birthday to you happy birthday to you that type of thing so that is a very small acoustic guitar it's even got a sticker on it of a guitar so that's a kind of quite a good one to start learning on um, it's a soft sort of sound I can get a bit of a louder sound if I use a plastic pick like that it's called a plectrum plectrum so my plectrum gives me a bit a louder sound and also allows me to pick different strings with that little plectrum there so that's the acoustic guitar I'm going to show you another one the one that I play and it's just over here so hold on a second right this one is made of mahogany which is a brown colored wood mahogany you find that in sort of tropical forests it's, it's very thin the wood so it means that it's very loud and resonant so when you play something the wood is making the sound much louder it's the same on the back this one and it's my pick plectrum i've got a pink one these strings are steel strings you hear they're a little bit brighter sounding a little bit louder than that other acoustic guitar which had nylon strings so this is a very nice guitar for picking with the pick where I can use my fingers. So I can play 
chords with picking with my fingers, but also strumming them all together or playing individual ones. So that's an acoustic guitar as well, but it's a bit bigger and a bit louder than the other one. It's very nice for faster things as well, and you can get quite a bit of sound with this. The other thing about this guitar is I can plug it in to an amplifier like this one here. It's the sort of speaker that makes things louder because it's got this, which is like a microphone. So if I wanted to make the sound even louder, I could plug it in. So that's the acoustic guitar. The next thing I want to show you is an electric guitar. Hold on, I'm just gonna go and get the electric guitar. Here it is. Now this one has three, I don't know if you can see them there with the light, three different pickups. They sound a little bit different and you can select between them with a switch. But at the moment, it's not plugged in to an amplifier, so it doesn't make very much noise. It's very quiet. The reason is the body is made of solid wood. So it doesn't make much noise if you don't plug it in to an amplifier. Now we're gonna plug it in. So, where is the lead? Here we go. I'm gonna plug this wire into here. And let's see how it sounds. Put that little plug in there into the amplifier and turn up the volume. Oh yes, there's a bit of a buzz coming from it. So turn down and then I can turn up this little volume knob here, which you can just about see. Oh, it's a bit louder, isn't it? So when you're playing an electric guitar, you've got different sounds. This pickup, by the bridge is very bright, very trebly and bright. If I want to have a bit of a richer sound, I go onto this pickup. It's a little bit darker and fuller sounding. So that's that one. And then the in-between sounds, a bit softer. So this guitar is called a Stratocaster. It's a great name, isn't it? And this design of guitar was designed in the 1950s. Now that is a looks a bit modern, but actually it's really old. 1950s is over 70 years ago. Um, this design was was first made. This one is about 10 years old. Right, so there's the electric guitar. I wonder we can change the sound. I've got some pedals here. And the first thing we can do is add something called reverb. Makes, makes it sound like it's in a big hall or something like that. Without it, it's sort of dry sounding. With it, ooh, we've got a little bit of a, a hall sound. The other thing that you can do with an electric guitar is use something called overdrive or distortion. If I use overdrive or distortion, it gets a much heavier sort of sound. A rock guitar sound. And this little arm here, bend the notes and just get a slightly different sound. Okay, so what are we going to do next? Oh yes, you can also put echo on a guitar so I can go... Do you hear how it repeats? It 
it's playing twice and then the third one's quieter and then the fourth one's really quiet so it's sort of like an echo that's dying away so if you're picking on a guitar you can get a rhythm with it sort of echo sound so that's the electric guitar so that's my red one I've got another guitar which is black and this one is also an electric guitar but it's hollow so it looks a little bit more like an acoustic guitar so I'm just gonna go and get that one Woo. it's a bit once you get wires involved plugging things in it becomes a bit like spaghetti it's all over the place and you can get in a big tangle if you're not careful right this is a lovely guitar black and gold so these it's got just two pickups and you can select between them and the tremolo <coughs> not plugged in at the moment and these holes here they look a little bit like the sort of holes you get on a violin this thing here gold is a pick guard so if I'm getting very um, <laughs> getting very uh, excited with the pick I don't want to scratch the woodwork so this plastic thing here if I hit that with the plectrum it's not gonna cause any damage that's the pit guard. So we're going to plug it in. So it's, that's on its own acoustically. And then when we plug it in. It's got a very mellow sort of. Thing that you can do in the electric guitar is the strings are quite quite bendy so you can you can wiggle them and get a sort of a nice sort of vibrato sound and the other thing you can do is bend the strings right up or down to change the note but still be on the same fret so I'm going to bend it upwards different ways that you can bend a note on an electric guitar so that is my black and gold guitar which is this is my favorite one okay different kinds of guitars so we've done acoustic and we've done electric guitars there is another guitar which is much longer and often with instruments when they are bigger and longer they play lower notes so I'm just going to go and get this other guitar. This other guitar that I'm going to show you now only has four strings. Here it is. This is not actually mine. This belongs to my friend Anthony. He's lent it to me. I'm going to plug it in. Now it's a big long guitar and it's got much thicker strings and I wonder if it's going to be lower or higher what do you think let's give this a little go oh it's very low it's called a bass guitar you don't usually play it with a plectrum you just play it with your fingers like this called another one bites the dust 
You can't really play chords on this, you just play individual bass notes. If you play a chord, it sounds a bit low and thuddy and muddy, not very nice. But sometimes higher up the neck here, you can play a low note here and then a high note on this string, put them together and it makes a chord, a very nice chord. Any lower than that starts to sound a bit, a bit muddy again. So that's the bass guitar and it's only got four strings, much thicker and lower sounding. Um, so that's the bass guitar. The last guitar I want to show you today, this is a really funny one. A few years ago, I was living in a country called South Africa. And in South Africa, um, some of the not very uh, rich places, um, they call them the townships, uh, people make instruments out of all sorts of things that are lying around. And a lot of people make guitars out of oil cans and then use a piece of wood or metal and then put strings on it and make an instrument that way because it's much cheaper than buying one from a factory. So this is one I've got from South Africa. Castrol GTX. It's a tin oil can that's bolted on to a metal neck and it's still got strings. It's a bit quieter because it's not a big wooden body, it's acoustic. There it is. That's the oil can guitar. I'm going to plug it in to the amp and see if I can get some different sounds out of it. It's got a pickup here, a sort of microphone, which I don't know whether you can see, but I'm going to plug it in to the amplifier. There we are. Makes it a bit louder, doesn't it? tuning it with these pegs at the top so you can get a kind of nice it's a very sort of African type of guitar sound the other thing that I didn't show you is with an amplifier like this speaker you can use it to, shall I put some reverb back on? There we are. You can use it to play loops. So I have a pedal that will record something and then I can keep, keep it playing and then play something over the top. So I might want to play some chords like this. Sounds a bit African, doesn't it? So I'm going to play, um, I'm going to record that uh, for you. It goes like this. It's playing itself. Ooh. I didn't get the join very good, so I'm going to try that again. And I can keep going adding more things. Fade 
fade it out now. Well, I can get rid of all the loops except the first one. There you go. I'm going to add some more. That's quite enough of that. Um, so you can see you can have quite a lot of fun with electric guitars and the different sound effects um, and the looping round and recording and uh, you can also have a lot of fun with acoustic guitars as well. I'm going to unplug that now. See how much quieter it is without the amplifier. This is very good because it doesn't make too much noise. If everybody else in the house is sleeping, I can still practice quietly and not wake anybody up. Anyway, well thank you so much for listening. I hope you've enjoyed all the guitars that I've showed you today and uh, it might inspire you to maybe pick up the guitar and learn it yourself um, in the future. So, bye for now. <laughs>